Hey designers, in today's quick tutorial, I'll show you how to get more control over your responsive Figma layouts by using min and max values. This feature prevents elements from going above or below certain widths or heights. So let's start with the basics. Before we get started, please remember that this feature only works with auto layout. And to demonstrate, I have two elements here inside an auto layout frame. And initially, this frame can be resized to any size, both, you know, in the horizontal direction and in the vertical direction. But let's say I want to limit how big or how small this frame can get, I can do that. If we go in the Figma inspector, under the, uh, let's call it the frame panel here, if I click on the drop down for the width, I can add a minimum width, let's say 200 pixels, and I can add a maximum width, let's say 900 pixels. So now you'll see the behavior of this frame will change. It can only be scaled or resized between the minimum we set and the maximum. I cannot go outside of those boundaries. And even if I go in the inspector and I set a value manually, it's just going to revert back to that uh, to that maximum or the minimum depending on what value I set. Of course, this works uh, for the height as well, I can add a minimum height, I can add a maximum height, and it's going to behave exactly the same. Now let's take a look at a practical application for this technique. Here we have a simple mock up of um, let's call it a finance dashboard, it just has a couple of elements. And this entire frame is using auto layout. And I have two other frames inside here, both are set to fill container. So whenever I resize this parent frame, those elements will resize as well. And you can see that when I get to let's say about this point, obviously, the layout is kind of broken because the button overlaps with the text elements on the top. And also the three cards are getting a bit too narrow for their content. So ideally, I would like to prevent my layout from becoming uh, smaller than let's say this, right, which is a, around 600 pixels. So that's when I would uh, go in here at the top and say add a minimum width of let's say 600 pixels. So that uh, took care of the minimum width problem. Now, if I'm starting to resize these and they are getting too big, I can set a maximum width, right? Let's say I want to uh, set this to about uh, 1200 pixels, that should should be enough. So right now, this dashboard only goes between these two values. And of course, you can adjust these values according to your own needs. And we can do the same vertically, right? We have this um, frame that's set to fill container in the uh, vertical direction. So if I uh, resize, uh, the three cards will follow suit. Again, there comes a point where this might be interfering with the layout like this. So 445 pixels is kind of too small for me. So what I can do is I can either set a minimum height on this parent frame, which I can do from up here. So I go to the height and I go add minimum height, let's say 500 pixels, right, it that should be the minimum. So obviously, now I cannot go smaller than that. And that's it for working with min and max values in Figma. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like subscribe and hit that bell icon for more Figma tips and tricks just like this one. I'm Adi and I'll see you next time.